property, plant, and equipment. Let's look at some of the basic definitions about property, plant, and equipment. Well, what cost do you capitalize when you acquire uh, buildings, equipment, land, those types of things? The general rule is you capitalize or add to the asset account all the costs that it took to acquire that asset and to prepare it for its intended use. So for example, if you buy a copy machine, you would include the cost of the copy machine, uh, you would include the sales tax, you'd include any delivery uh, or installation costs, you would uh, do any trial runs or calibrations that you have to get it right before it becomes useful. So those are all the types of costs that you include in the cost of property, plant, and equipment. And the acquisition entry is always debit the asset for its cost, including all the things we just talked about, and credit cash, notes payable, accounts payable, things like that. Other things, uh, definitions, land. Because land has an indefinite life, it is not depreciated. So you will never depreciate land. You may deplete the natural resources of land, but you do not depreciate land itself. So what do you include in the cost of land? The purchase price, any closing costs, and getting that uh, land ready for use. Um, in other words, if you have to um, clear old uh, dilapidated buildings off that land in order to use it for your purpose, uh, it would be the cost of clearing the land. Land improvements are in the land, but they're directly associated with a structure on the land. So think about uh, when you talk about land improvements, uh, when you uh, contour a golf course, uh, those costs are, are land improvements to create a golf course hole, sand trap, those types of things. Also, if you landscape your building, your bushes, your shrubs, your fences, your parking lots, all of those things, um, because they're associated with the life of the building more than just land, uh, they are called land improvements, and you depreciate them. Because, you know, shrubs don't last forever, so you depreciate them over their useful lives or the useful life of um, the building or a reasonable lifetime. Uh, if you think about a, a winery, uh, when you put vines in the ground uh, or pecan trees in an orchard, all of those things are land improvements as well. And they have definite lives and they are depreciated. So that's land improvements. Buildings. Buildings have a definite life and so they are depreciated as well. And you include in the cost of the building, um, the cost of the building or its construction costs, closing costs, architecture and attorney's fees, anything that you had to incur before um, the door to the, the building opens and it's ready for use. Machinery, equipment, furniture, and fixtures, sometimes known as fixed assets. Uh, you include the purchase price, net of any cash discounts, freight, handling, insurance while in transit, any installation costs, so, for example, Google has server farms, uh, which are the large servers on which it maintains its data. Uh, and you include the invoice costs, the transportation, the assembly, any installation, any testing, any modifications that you have to make to the building in order to get that server farm in um, order. Or to, to use the servers. So that's the types of things that you would include in the cost of property, plant, and equipment. The general rule is anything that it takes in order to get it uh, operable and useful and, and so it can be uh, revenue producing, uh, you include in its cost. Remember, do not depreciate land. Uh, so, 
if it's self-constructed, what do you include? So you're building a building, you're building a special purpose uh, machine, you include the cost of the materials, the labor, the overhead, and if you take out interim um, construction financing, the interest that you incur on that interim financing, but not on the permanent financing. So any, any borrowing interest costs from the time of inception of the building through its completion uh, is included in the cost of the building because you had to borrow funds in order to construct the building. Uh, once the building is constructed, operable, and is begun, be, beginning to be depreciated, um, then it's covered by permanent financing or a mortgage, and mortgage interest is not included in property, plant, and equipment. So those are the types of things for self-constructed assets.